We get a lot of cases where people have filed immigration applications by themselves and they've gotten these applications denied. But we can actually help you overturn that decision. Now, these denials are usually based on not responding to an RFE or perhaps affidavit of support was not well done, supporting documents were insufficient, they were just wrong, you have joint sponsor issues or the I-864 was not well completed or you have issues with your tax returns or you have divorce decree issues invalid divorces now if you have such a denial or your case has been denied we can file either a motion to reopen based on evidence of new facts or we can file a motion to reconsider based on an incorrect application of law to the decision that's usually a mistake by uscis okay so now depending on the fact the particular facts of your case we can sometimes even file a combined motion to reopen as well as motion to reconsider Again, a motion to reopen will state new facts and we have to support it by documentary evidence. If you resubmit previously provided evidence or evidence that you've already submitted or you've already you are reasserting previously stated facts, then your motion to reopen will be dismissed. Okay. Now, if your motion to reopen or your motion to reconsider is approved, then your petition if it's the 485 or the I-130 will be reopened and then it will be re-adjudicated on its merits. I hope this helps. If you have a denial or an unfavorable decision from USCIS and you're hoping to get it overturned, give us a call. We'll be able to help you. 802-780-0564. I can't wait to speak with you. Bye.